Thanks for sticking around Upper Michigan today, everybody. We're still here at the Ordock Brewing Company with Amanda Corshane, the events manager here for the brewery. So, of course, the Festival of the Angry Bear is happening this Saturday. We've been talking about it all morning, and it's so much more than just beer. It's really a celebration of community, of springtime, of getting together and enjoying what the Marquette community has to offer. And there's going to be some food trucks, music, some pre-festival events. So... I know there's a lot, but what do we need to know? Let's start with let's start with the music lineup. Yeah, yeah. So the music lineup this year is going to be incredible. Um, the headliner of the festival, um, Downstate, they're from Downstate, Joe Hurtler and the Rainbow Seekers. Um, we are very excited to have them this year. Um, we will also have Slowfoot. Um, we will have Stone Folk. Um, Chirp is going to be here this year. Um, and then we're going to have some Marquette favorites, uh, Frank and the Beans, um, Hoot at Brass, and the March of the Angry Bear. So that's kind of going to be um, a little bit of a costume contest. That's what we're going to do, our costume contest. So if you um, would like to dress up um, maybe as a woodland creature or, you know, just have fun with it, um, Marquette Fringe is going to be leading up that costume contest. So that's going to be exciting. Um, and we are going to have some other games um, throughout the day just kind of something to break up the day a little bit if you wanted a break from you know rocking out in the tent to the music um, if you wanted to test your strength um, you know we'll have we'll have some games like that so that's gonna be really exciting too that is really exciting and and I know we already uh, mentioned the food trucks earlier yes. in the show but let's remind our viewers the deliciousness that they're in store for this <laughs> yes weekend. yes I actually forgot um, one of our food trucks in the other segment so that will be the pretzel guys will also be here. So we'll have the pretzel guys, smelted, um, drippy hippie sando, ice cream sandos, um, disco dogs, smelted, if I didn't say them already, the burger bus, Dia de los Tacos, and the Island Coney truck will be here. So food, games, music, beer. Is there anything that I'm missing? You know, I, I don't think so. Um, just bring your party pants. Mm -hmm. Yep, dust them off, your beer sweater, whatever whatever you need the for beer that. Sweater, the beer yeah. sweater, yes. <laughs> or, or oh, I thought of something, the flower crown workshop. Yes, thank you, mm -hmm. the flower crown workshop. So this is something that we brought back last year. Um, so that's gonna be on Thursday. We're working with um, Samara Floral Company um, out of Nagani or Ishbeming. Um, so tickets for those you can find on the Facebook event. Um, also on, um, yeah, on the Facebook event on our website. So that's going to be exciting as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just something that you can do. Um, it's going to be a little half crown, but just to kind of make it a little more springy. And um, Shayla with Samara um, just wanted everybody to know that even though this is the Thursday before the festival, the type of um, flowers and everything that they're using, it will definitely hold up um, through Saturday for sure. What a fun addition for Ooh. this festival yeah. to wear. And maybe have it, if you're participating in the costume contest, exactly. elevate your costume yeah. just a little bit more just with a real little flower little crown. Yes. You know, from an employee uh, standpoint, how how do you prepare for an event of this magnitude? Are you just like super hectic these past few weeks? <laughs> well, you know this um, this festival definitely takes a village. Um, mm -hmm. We have a lot of uh, community partners that we work with um, in terms of getting um, the tents up, um, in terms of getting all of the fencing that we need to you know to make sure that mm -hmm. the festival is safe and um, there's barriers in place. So um, as, a, <laughs> as an employee, there are a lot of things that happen behind the scenes. Um, we flip the whole space, essentially. We move a lot of our stuff from upstairs, outside. So there's a, there's a lot of preparation that, that happens, um, as well as this space that we're in right now. Um, this is going to be the VIP area for the festival. Um, that was something that we did last year. So um, there's going to be some special catered food in here. You're going to get your own restroom, your own entrance. Um, and the tickets for the VIP are sold out already. Um, but it's there's going to be a lot of stuff in here happening. Um, so there's just a lot of a lot of things to do for the festival. So and I mean, business is still going on as usual yes. here at the Ordock. You just had the record show here a couple weeks ago there's always so many events and of course there's the expansion that's currently happening yes. we're not taking a look at that on today's show but i know a lot of people have questions about yeah. that is there anything you can share about the expansion with us well you know as of right now we're we're working on getting a, a really nice segment together we're just super excited about all the things that are happening mm -hmm. with the expansion so i know that that a lot of people are, are wondering but 
don't worry, we're going to have a full segment or a full show on, on um, the expansion and, and what people can look forward to. You will just have to stay tuned and stand by. Now, Michael. Yes. Are you ready to put I your strength <clears throat> to the test? I am ready. We're going to get in a little competition. I know Elizabeth wishes she was here to compete with me, but <laughs> she's not. So it's you versus me. All right. I like a good challenge. Yeah, and this is a challenge <laughs> that is actually going to be happening at the Festival of the Angry Bear this Saturday. We'll talk more about it when we come back.